a sort of a tight feeling? <laughs> yes, <laughs> rather. <laughs> uh, bend back. <coughs> Any pain? Now then, stand up. Lift up the left leg. Now, hold your toe with your right hand. That's it. What did you say was the matter with you? Oh, I'm, uh, I feel much better now, Doctor. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Doctor. When I do this, I get the most frightful twinges up and down my back. Why do it? Are you suggesting, Doctor, that we should uh, go for a holiday? That's a very good idea. We could take a week off now. What do you think of that? One guinea. Long mountain, two. Your son, out of father's chair. One. There's a boy. Two. Huh. We've just had a chat with our doctor. He says I'm in a pretty bad way. So am I. One. He says my heart. Two. Your One. heart. Dash it, yours isn't One. the only heart in the world. Two. Look here. Are you One. going to stop that? Two. Or shall we make you? One. Two. some jolly good exercise. How about that holiday the doctor ordered? What's that record? What's that? Oh, that's from the uh, River Girl, Gertie. You know. Pretty good. Did you say the River Girl? By Jove, I've got an idea. How about the river? Yes, the river. By Jove, yes, the river. I say, I have a sort of relation. Lives near Marlow. We might drop in and wank a drink out of him. Certainly. He's cuckoo. What, born cuckoo in the old Harris tradition? No, no, no. Anglo-Indian cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> Touch of the sun, you know. Quite a nice chap in his normal moment. Good, we'll look him up. When do we start packing? Why not start now? Shall we? Righto. Good. Let's. Come on, get a move on. Oh, I've got to take my dill water, lazy <laughs> little blighter. Oh, Off the crowd into the strange. Here's some people travel with so much luggage. Hmm. I get my skis off here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Young man, your turn's coming soon. Far be it from me to argue with a man who might have been a rowing blue had the river been made of beer. However, if you'd like to give a few general instructions. Certainly. Now, holding the paw, or left oar, firmly in the left hand, and the starboard, or right oar, in the right facing what you'd probably term the blunt end of the boat. You mean Billy's end? Certainly. We insert both blades in the water, but taking a steady, even pull. Point B. Well, go on, Harris. I'm grasping it by degree. Fine. Would you mind grasping your skulls as well? Oh, with pleasure. Thanks. One, two. two. One, two. <laughs> Good old Harris! Who started this? Your idea. Yours? On the contrary. Oh, don't start that all over again. Let's land somewhere and have a drink. Yes, and the sooner the better. I must tell you, sorry. Confound and blast you, sir. Why the devil don't you look where you're going? You think you hold the old blasted river? Look what you've done in my lines. Confound you. Look. 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 Oh, oh uh, are they your lines, sir? Of course they're my lines. What do you think they are? A bunch of bluebells? Oh, yeah, they're feeding me sorry, sir. We... Go to blazes! He means he wants us to go, I think. I think roughly that is the idea. Oh! Oh! Oi, Governor, is this your tight? Yes, bring him over here, will you? You, you damn scoundrel, you... Sir, please. Ten minutes ago. Sir. There we are. There we are. There we are. Look out, Captain Lovey. Look out, Lovey. Can't you? Holy go. You hit me. I shall fall in. Oh, dear. Thank you. 
Anyway, we'll be first out. Good. Keep them off, eh? Laugh, yeah, that's what they'll do. I know. Stop it, man! Laugh, where's my air gun? Where's my belly air gun? In the garage, sir. It's my lawn so full of shots, he'll think he's a cold storage grouse. What's it for? What do you think it's for? It's to keep all the damn trippers in Europe off my lawn. I'm not going to shoot at people again. If I catch any blackguard attempting to land on my lawn, I'll... Well, do be careful. Who started this? Your idea. Yours? On the contrary. Oh, don't start that all over again. Let's land somewhere and have a drink. Yes, and the sooner the better. How many bottles left? Only three. Hello? Coming over. Ouch. What the devil are you doing, George? I didn't do anything. <gasps> you silly ass. What do you mean? You know what I mean. You stuck me with a pin. I did nothing of the sort. Of course you did, Harris. I did not. Do I did it Shut up, George. That's the last bottle. Cheerio. Get away, my dance. Get away or I'll blow your brains out again. What the devil do you mean by mooring up against my law? Good Lord, it's him. Really? Is your name Harland? What the devil's he got to do with you? I'm a cousin. Good Lord, the man's ashore. Dash it off, though. My name's Harris. I don't care if your name's Beelzebub. Get off my lawn, get into your belly boat, and go to the devil. Is there anything wrong? Yes. I say, I'm a cousin of yours. My name's Harris. Reginald Philip Montague Corksey Harris. Darling, he's a cousin and his name is Harris. His name's what? Harris. Not Millicent's cousin, Philip. Yes. Now you can ask cousin Philip's pardon, darling. Look, we're what? drifting. Huh? Good heavens. I say, where are the skulls? <laughs> Sorry I can't invite you to lunch. We've got some fearful people coming already. May as well come and have a peg anyway. <laughs> Harris, come on. We're drifting. I say, look at your fins. Oh, by gad, yes. What's wrong with them? I'll push out with the launch. Uh, I'd better come with you. Well, I'll have a peg on my own. Bring your boat out, Harris. Get out. Hurry! I can't start it. Uh, let's look at it. In there. It's always going wrong. It must be the spark bugs. No, they're sparking all right. Come on, then. I see they're beating me this way. Hurry up. Oh, I'd better pull out to
You've got to get her. I have, but they're submerged. Sorry. I'd like to do it every day of my life. Wouldn't it be marvelous? Hurry up, Harris, and get some water. All right, all right, all right. Where's my other shoe? In the stew, I expect. Everything else is. Well, sunshine, what about it? What's the matter? You don't suppose you're going to get out of all the work like that? <laughs> Not on your life. George and I are both damned if we're going to sweat and slave all day long for a lazy young devil like you. By the way, did I mention that I invited Peggy to dinner tonight? Harris and I think it only fair to warn you that you're wasting your time. I hope uh, we needn't say any more. What on earth do you mean? Well, she'll never take you seriously, little man. A girl like that wants uh, a man of experience, a man of the world. <laughs> we rather wondered if you'd mind unloading a few things out of the boat. But that is, if you can do so without making the usual mess over the simplest little things. <laughs> Look at my fire. She said she didn't mind so long as the two funny old men, meaning you and George, were amusing. She said old men. Old did men? She? <laughs> what do you think you are, a couple of boy scouts? Well, I like you. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Harris? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Well, what are you laughing at? Oh, nothing. Hurry up with the dinner. She'll be here in a minute. Uh, George, uh, look after the fire. Right, I I'll go and get some water. Right. I say, would you or would you not tell George about his face? No. I say, how about Alice's face? Should I do anything about it? Mm. Tell him, I mean. No. Yeah? All right, George. Fire going all right? Yeah, pretty good. All right, take the uh, lid off. Good heavens, it's bone dry. There she is. So it is. How glad you do, you <laughs> You look like a couple of nigger minstrels. A couple? <laughs> Oh! <laughs> They've been fooling about while I've been doing the hard work. So this is where you live? Yes. Have a stool. I'd rather sit on the grass. Thanks. I say. Well? I've got something very important I want to tell you. Don't say it now. You see, it's... Yes, I know it is. It's terribly important. But don't say it. Is that supper? Will be. Did you make it? I did. Mm, you must be a good cook. Feel that? Yes. My stew. Now I've got a little bite to get away with doing. <laughs> there oh, you are. Marvelous. Yeah, here we are. Oh, yeah. doesn't it look smart? <laughs> look much better with the black off. Oh, really? Thanks. <laughs> doesn't make so much difference to old George, though, does it? No, perhaps you're right. <laughs> well, now, let's see. Yeah. Bread? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anything else? The salt, please. Oh, salt. All right. Have you any butter? Oh, the butter. 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 Uh, Where is the butter, George? Well, did you see it? Has anyone seen it? Where is it? Good. Uh, Billy, did you bring it in? Peculiar. Yes. Here it is. Huh? Oh, yes. 
Uh, no thanks. I changed my mind. Oh no thanks. No no. No. No, <laughs> no thanks. I wouldn't press it if I were you. No. <laughs> Best seven shot. One and ten. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely stew. Lovely, Lovely stew. stew. Now this is what I call a piece of real stew. Well, it was your work. Well, perhaps I'd better explain. Uh, I wouldn't if I were you, old boy. Ask for sweets. Can I have sweets? Sweets, sweets. Yes, rather. There we are. Come on, old boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. I say this is awful. Not a bit. Look here. You must let me take you home tonight. You see, George and Harris have promised to wash up. All right. But I warn you. What on earth is that? If you'd only had the sense to bring a tin opener. Tin opener? That reminds me. Let's see what a nail will do for you. Will you? Try this. Well, where is the nail? Oh, here it is. Oh. It's all right. Why don't you make a bigger hole? You'll never get it out in that way. Oh, right? all right, all right, all right! I came here for food, and once that tin is open... Peggy, I'm one quivering mass of apologies. What happened? George went mad and killed the pineapple. I know where there's some bread and cheese. I'll go and see what can be done. I say, you better let me see you home. George has promised to wash up. Well, I'm not sure. <coughs> well? Well? Uh, George, go and help Billy find the cheese. Well, uh, Montmorency has eaten it. What? Oh. I say, how about letting me see you home tonight? Harris has promised to wash up. But you're washing up tonight. I am? Who said so? You see. I say, we're terribly ashamed. But it was George's dog. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid it was. Oh, it's only a mongrel, you know. He is not a mongrel. Well, what do you call him anyway, then? Well, he, anyhow, he's not a mongrel. Oh, well, cool, dear, exactly, exactly what is he? Well, then? he's a... Uh, come on, come on. Well, he's a... Uh, I say it's getting awfully uh, late. Oh, you've had a terrible time. Oh, no, it's been marvellous. I say we're swimming in the morning, about 200 yards upstream. Well, the White House boat? That's right, do come along. Yes, yes rather, we'd love, love to. to. Yes, rather. <laughs> yes, well, uh, off home now. Then shall we go? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. One, two, three. Dead. Dead. Now I'm with you. Here's what we'll do. Let's make the best of it, leaving the rest of it to love. Let's love just you and I and music, two hearts that beat in tune till the breaking of dawn when a new day is So close together, the moon and stars above, happily strolling to heaven, we'll find just you and I and love. <laughs> London Bridge, haven't you, Harris?
absurd. <laughs> what about you? Oh, I'm uh, not exactly an Olympic gym, but uh, I've done a bit to her. <laughs> uh, what's the temperature of the water this morning? About 60. Oh, and, uh, and the depth? Seven feet. Oh, just a plunge. Huh? Yes, well, uh, no, uh, no weeds about it, I suppose. None. Well, uh, well, uh, well, well, here we go. Yes, uh, here we go. <laughs> I think I'd better go and find him. Hello. Oh, no lovers if you ain't old glass eyes, dog. Mm, what a chance. See you later, mate. I'm so sorry. Damn it, you're all over the blinking river. Look at my line. Look at it. You know, I never knew a man to repeat himself like you do in all my life. Oh, you'll hear more about this. All the lot of you. No, 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 no. I mean seriously. No. Oh. Oh, no, no. I can't find him anywhere. <laughs> yes, but, uh, but seriously now, don't you think... Uh, I'll teach you to make a mess of me like this falling up and down the river. Oh, you... What's all this? I'm uh, just having a quite little chat with our friend here. He's invited us to tea. Damn it, you two! You come along! I remember you, you blackguards! Yes, well, write to us, will you? Oh. Ah. Oi! Oi! Get out of the way, can't you? You did that a purpose, you pair up. Oh, oh, really? All right, all right. You wait. I got you two taped, all right. Out of the way. Come on, Alice. <laughs> we seem to be meeting everybody who is anybody. <laughs> Change. <sighs> Terribly hot day for the fate. Thunder. I hope it won't rain because of the fireworks. Damn good job. Hope it puts them out. It'd be most annoying if Peggy's guests are late for lunch. The fate begins at half past two. Nobody ever comes till four. But staff here, you know you always like them to go. Stuff. What time did you tell them lunch was? One thirty. Is that cousin of yours, Philip, coming? Yes. Oh, that man's not all there. Who on earth are those people? God bless my soul, what's this? Mr. Harrison, Mr. I uh, hope you don't think I... Hello, Millicent. Why? It's not Philip. It is indeed. Oh. Well, well. Nice to see you again after all this time. Uh, oh, oh. This is George Williamson. Oh, how do you do? Uh, uh, oh, thank you, sir. I'm afraid uh, our clothes have been stolen. Oh, then you better have some of Henry's clothes. Suits are all the same, so you'll look like twins. Rub the arming of it to put up the list. Well, goodbye, Peggy. Goodbye. Don't forget to take tonight. Rather no, we'll be there. Thank you so much. Goodbye. What a sweet girl Peggy is. You don't seriously think you can an earthly, do you? Well, you surely don't imagine that either of you two do. <laughs> oh, he's a young whippersnapper. I like his cheek. <laughs> Look here. It's time we came to an understanding. Now, the only way to straighten this out is for each of us to propose to her in turn. Good. That's a good idea. Let's toss up to see who starts. Hey, what are you two whispering about? Well, you see, there's a condition. Before the winner proposes, He'll be given something to do by the other two. Yes. And if he fails, then he drops out. Fine. Uh, lend me two half cows. I don't forget. Odd man, start. Right. 
Ten. 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 You, you win. win. <laughs> well, what do I have to do? Your job is to go into the village, stand outside the village pub. No, 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 the police station. Yes, that's better, the police station. Yes. And sing the full chorus of the hiker song. At the top of your voice. All right. And if you fail, it is between one of us. Uh. Uh, all right. You two gonna stand watch? I'll go see her. Good. <laughs> yeah? Uh, there it is. Go to it. <laughs> oh, 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 in the open air. Hi, 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 hiking everywhere. Members of the high polite, first a girl and then a boy. To see that they enjoy the air, ha, ha, ha. When the sun is in the sky, the hiker packs his load, cocks his hat upon his eye and marches down the road. For the high, 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 hiking everywhere in the lower air, da, da, da. Oh, 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 in the open air, high, 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 now then, high pass it on hiking here. everywhere. Members of the high polite, first a girl and then a boy. Out to see the day in the air. Then I told you to disturb the peace. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a little game. Disturbing the peace and obstructing an officer in the fulfillment of his duty. This will cost you something, young fella. Come oh, on. But I was singing to... <laughs> to you, officer. To me? Yes, to you. And I'll be singing to you in a minute, and you won't like my singing either. Come on. Oh, but... I say. Hmm? Better do something about it, haven't we? Yes, I think we'd better. Go on, clear off, all of you. Go on. I then warned him that anything he said would be taken down in writing and used as evidence against him, and he then said, I was singing to you. Defendant's appearance was disorderly, and he appeared to be under the influence of drink. Oh, I say. A large and threatening crowd having then assembled, and defendant having indulged in resistance and menaces, I overcome his resistance and took him into custody. Sign here. And now perhaps you'll ring up Sir Henry Harland, Maple Lodge Prangley. Oh, and why? Well, he's a friend of mine. I've told you eight times, but you won't take any notice. Sir Henry, a friend of yours? Well, he's to find out. No, I don't know about that. Chairman of the bench, isn't he? Hmm. Well, then I should give him a ring if I were you. I don't think ringing up Harlan's a good idea. Absolutely fatal. Silly little fool. Very good, Sir Henry. Hmm. Well? He's coming round in about half an hour. He wants to talk to you in particular. Ah, that's good. I shouldn't say that if I was in your shoes, young fellow. Just you wait. Put him in number three and keep him there till Sir Henry comes round. I'll be back again in half an hour myself. Sir Henry? Well, don't you know who Sir Henry is yet? Well, he'll be here in a couple of days, Sergeant. <laughs> well, as long as you'll be here, it'll be as you wake up in like that. Very disgusting. I can't help it, Sergeant. What have you been doing? Bolting your food again? Hold your breath and count up to a thousand. That'll stop it. Now, Sir Henry, he's a stylish old gent. Fairly tall, with eyeglass and flash force. Very hot-tempered. Don't you cross him, whatever you do. <laughs> and if you must hiccup, up, hiccup up to one side. Take him away. Come on. Couldn't I, um, you come observe... On. Heard that? I did. You must get that young idiot out of it somehow. Yes, but how? I've got it. Yes, what? You. Me? Your face is silly enough. What do you mean? But is it red enough? What are you getting at? You could pass for Harlan at a pinch. I not could. Of course you could. That half-wit constable in there doesn't know him. Yeah, that's true. And the sergeant's gone by now, isn't he? Yes. Right. I'll have a dig at it. Good. Hurry up. Go to it. What the devil do you think you're doing? 
Sorry, sir. Sorry? I can't. There'll be trouble for somebody over this. What do you mean by locking my friend up, eh? Where is he, eh? Where is he? Don't stand giving at me like that, my man. You know who I am, don't you? Yes, sir. Sir Henry. Oh. Yes. Well, you'll remember pretty quick if you don't get a move on and release the prisoner. Here's the charge. Yes, sir. Amen. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Stop him now. Where's the sergeant? He, uh, Where's the sergeant? He, he's, he's gone out, sir. God. Sir Henry. God, 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 God. What the devil's he gone out for? That's the trouble with you fellas. No discipline. Release the prisoner at once, will you? Go on. At once. Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Henry. Yes, sir. You're wanted quick. Who is it? Sir Henry Arnold, sir. Oh, Sir Henry. He's carrying on terrible. Hurry up, sir. Oh, all right. I'm coming. Here he is, Sir Henry. Oh, Sir Henry. Thanks so much. Uh, a slight mistake, I think. <laughs> yes, my boy. Uh, a slight mistake. Uh, Constable, tell the sergeant when he comes in that you better treat this uh, bit of business as a joke. <clears throat> a wash out. For his own sake. You understand? Very good, Sir Henry. Tell him I'll come and see him about it in the morning. Very good, Sir Henry. <laughs> what? Nothing, Sir Henry. Only any cup, sir. Yes, well, don't drink so much beer. I never, never heard of anything so suspicious in all my life. Come on, let's get out of this before the sergeant gets back. No hurry. Somebody ought to have a go at him. Yeah. One of us ought to go along to the station, see Sergeant Bean, and give him the tip. Police, police me left foot. Now, I've got a better idea. Ah, uh -huh. it's as easy as kiss your hand. They're bound to be in their camp, because as a matter of fact, I've got their dogs and their boat. <laughs> now, now, all we've got to do is to surround the camp, close in them, and Bob's your uncle. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, good evening, landlord. Lovely weather. Uh, yes, it's very nice. Well, what's the trouble? Where's the boy? It's Sir Henry. You come up yourself just now and took him away. Come? What the devil do you mean, sir? Well, it's like this, Henry. When you come up after your telephone message... Telephone I message? Act... I did nothing of the kind. But, sir, uh, what sort of game do you think you're playing? What are you gibbering at? No, sir, I can explain if you give me a so chance. You're mad. The whole countryside's packed with a lot of raving lunatics. No, sir Henry, be fair. Not another this. word, sir. You'll hear more of this. Right. Then into the river, them three perishers go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> George, isn't that our friend of the... Uh... I do, you so it is. Oblige me. There's old glass, honey. A bit hostile, aren't they? No, it's the peace conference. Look, there's the Russian ambassador. <laughs> I wonder who the three fellows are. Come on, we must be in on this. Right, oh. Ah, lad. Well, uh, forgive us butting in, but... Uh... We couldn't help overhearing some reference to the river. Something about chucking three people in. Can we come in on the fun? You have to come in on the fun. Starting to us. Guessed it first time. <coughs> All right, leave it to me. <coughs> yes, well, uh, before chucking it in, how about having drinks all round? Oh, how was I to know? He comes up, eyes glass and all, and he shouts and he swears and he... He cusses and he roars. How oh, was I that weren't a magistrate? You done it. You done it proper. You report us to headquarters. You raise hell with the Lord Lieutenant and God knows what he won't do. Have you never thought that the poor old mother, what sits at home with your poor old pa, thinking about her boy, what's going to be a blinking chief constable in it? She don't sit with pa. She knocks hell out of him. My words, you regret what you've done today. Oh, oh, oh. oh there. Well, I must be off now. Off to find that young fella and his accomplices. Fishing. Ha. Here, you see that? Yeah. I landed at myself. Caught it just below the bridge with a minnow. Eighteen pounder. What? An eighteen? Good oh, heaven, has to hear that. An eighteen pounder. What? Eighteen pounds? Yeah. That's worth another drink. <laughs> you caught it, didn't you? That's right. Yes, how? Oh, there isn't much to tell. About a couple of years ago, when this big fella suddenly took my bait. Yes. Oh, she was nearly drowned before I got him out. What do you think he weighed? I simply damn think. 
23 pounds and half an ounce. Sounds like a fairy tale, doesn't it? Oh, no, no. 23 pounds? And half an ounce. Well, we'd better celebrate. You say that you, um, caught that fish? Ah. Uh, it weighs 32 pounds. Ah. Could you do with another drink? Ah. Uh, you're the one I want. Oi, you haven't paid for them drinks. Here, boy, order. Then let's chuck it. Well, you can't do that. You promised Peggy to go to the States. Oh, yes, that's true. Yes, well, we can't very well let her down. Let's go there first. Shall we? Right. I've come here to make good. <laughs> and judging by the looks of you, you need it. Now, the criminals are somewhere in the grounds. If you want to make good, now's your chance. Thank you, Sergeant. Now, you go off that way. Oh, come and on, you boy. go through here and remember that they are desperate characters. Yes, Sergeant. Now, you go and skip right. I'll meet you at the buffet. All right, if you say so. Right. Good evening, Sir Henry. Uh, good evening, Sir Henry. Now then, my lad. What the devil's the matter with you? Take your filthy hands off this glass ship on this old. Sorry, Sir Henry, I thought it was that. Look here, son, what the devil's the matter with you? Take the son or what? Make what the devil's the matter with you? Make it your bones, Sir Henry. You shall hear more about this tomorrow, sir. Ah! Thank you, Sir Henry. Thank you very much, sir. Come along, everybody. Come and have a good laugh. Honey, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I humbly beg your pardon, Sir Henry. I humbly beg your pardon. Ah, look! Now you can't quiet me this time, you fool! You're against her! Will you go away before I go mad myself and choke you? 
Sir Henry, I had an idea. No, you haven't got any very ideas. That's what's the matter with you. Sir Henry, I thought I'd seen you. You're always thinking you're seeing. You'll see plenty of me tomorrow, sir. Thank you, Sir Henry. Ah! Double whiskey. Another double. It's a counter of that. Here you are. Really, Henry, you are tiresome. You promised to help with the concert party and the vicar's doing the door. Waste of time, my dear. It's going to thunder. Now, uh, the next hit on the program, uh, the next hit then will be, uh, yes, 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 uh, Pianoforte Solo by Miss Pringle. Song from Pinafon. Here, come along, you chap. Come along, you here. Come on. Come on. Come on, you chap. Get that look at you. Come on. Come here. You put the cloak on. Come down with the cake there. Put that cloak on. Come 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 on. Do you know anything out of Pinafore? Well, that's the first time. How's it going? Me. I was a lad, I served at the bar. 
And I will add I tell the chairman is hot to fire the chair is firm. I clean the windows, I swept the floor, I polish up the handles of the big front door. I polish up the handles of the big front door. I polish the handles so carefully, and now I'm the ruler of the Queen's Navy. I polish the handles so carefully, and now I'm the ruler of the Queen's Navy. And I'm the fire, I need to serve my job. And off this fall, I made it to market day with a post to the junior song. I served the roots of the two glasses, I copied all the letters with a big brown hand. There they are, the old damn men. The cabinet lifts so carefully, the dime, the root of the cream, baby. And the cabinet lifts so carefully, the dime, the root of the cream, baby. Get out of here. Get off. Don't forget, one o'clock tomorrow at the risk. 